Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Isaac Jamfi Crime, a young professional teacher in the Ghana Education Service and a 2016 Mandela Washington Fellow. Today, I would like to share something like we call Your Challenge can, made, can Be Made an Opportunity. Your Challenge Can Be Made an Opportunity. Opportunity can be found as a chance for advancement, progress, or profit. But what we normally see is waiting to lay our hands on success to make it an opportunity. That is true to some extent, but should it always be the case? In my point of view, we can make our challenge an opportunity. It sounds confusing to some extent. My story as a teacher in the deprived community was an opportunity for me, the young children, and the community that I served. In 2009, as a fresh teacher from the College of Education in Ghana, I was posted to a deprived community in the Brownfield region of Ghana. As soon as I arrived for my posting to the school, I knew something was very wrong there. The entire school had been abandoned by people and teachers. I later learned that most qualified teachers had refused posting to the school due to each numerous challenges. But I didn't pack my bags home, no way. I accepted to work in the community despite the challenges. The passion and the struggle to get people back to school was my ultimate aim and desire. My understanding and appreciation of administration of schools, human resources in rural communities, societal and educational challenges equipped me to make a big change. Within the period of four years, a school that was described as a ghost school was filled with enthusiastic children eager to learn. This was achieved through positive collaboration with the parents and leaders of the community. The success of the school enhanced my understanding of the processes involved in educational supervision, management of human and financial resources, infrastructure development to be the factors that impede community development, especially in the rural communities. Although I did so well for the school and community, I was not rewarded and appreciated my efforts. And I began to think it was not worth it. But now, that has changed. I say to the world, do not give up because people do not appreciate your efforts. Stop the complaints and be committed to the work you do because somebody out there is watching you. That was the challenge I faced. Indeed, somebody was watching me. One of the opportunities that I have received from my challenge and struggle as a teacher who work in the private community is standing in front of you here. The challenge has become an opportunity because I was selected to be part of this family. The Mandela Washington Fellowship does not discriminate based on race, political affiliation, high academic credentials, achievements, and social status. Fellows are selected on the basis of their volunteerism, community works, and the positive impact of activities to the communities. And that was what I did four years ago. Somebody was indeed watching me. After my selection, I have realized and maintained to share the philosophy that human beings have the capacity for functioning at their best possible level when resources are directed at their capabilities. It has also made me to understand that physical, mental, social, and economic impairment should not disqualify any human being from reading, reaching their highest possible potential. The child in the cocoa growing village, in the village where I served, benefited from my challenge. And I still reflect on how touch lights were used to help children in reading. These children were ready to learn because I dedicated my time, treasure, and talent to make their dream of putting words together to form sentences come true. A change from the struggle. Don't wait to have a platform of convenience before you make a change. Make a positive impact, as Dr. Ogunike said, and that has been my philosophy. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Another opportunity that I've gained from my challenge is having the chance to hone my leadership skills and broaden off my horizon in the United States of America through the structured course content prepared by the staff of the University of Delaware and the practical experience I'll receive from my PD host. This will forever be with me to shape the lives of many young children and contribute positively to my community. The greater part of it 
is meeting and learning from like-minded young Africans like you to make a change. I'll end by saying that in whatever you do, make sure your community benefits. Thank you. Thank you.